Thank you guys for coming back to watch more Garage Time. You know, last week I took the fender off and the doors off to get those ready for paint. Uh, but what that did is it uncovered more problems here in the door jam area. I needed to do some body work on this. You know, who else does body work on door jams besides me? Garage Time. Yeah, this is pretty typical in a restoration. You know, you keep uncovering problems and this car has a ton of them. This car had a hard life. And because this is a visible spot, I think I can fix this in like an hour or two. We'll see how long it actually takes me. But uh, things like that just keep popping up. But I do hope to get some painting done today. Uh, I wanna paint underneath the rear suspension. I touched up the undercoating and it needs to be um, all blacked out. And then if there's time, I wanna paint in the trunk area today in body color. So. Stay tuned. Okay, this probably should have been fixed earlier, and one of the concerns I have is when I go to pull this dent out, um, and I don't have access to the back, so I have to put some dent pullers on here, and uh, I don't want to knock this hinge out of alignment. This is a pretty strong structure, and it's pretty thin metal here, but just to be safe, I'm going to rig up, I have an, an old hinge, I think this is from a 914, but I'm going to uh, rig up a bar here. So this bar is gonna keep the hinge from moving. Just tack welded it in and then it attaches, this might be hard to see, but it attaches to the main hoop um, right there where the door bars normally attach. And it's kind of just tack welded in place. Okay, I've just created some of these pull tabs. These are just uh, sheets of metal with holes punched in the end. And I got three or four of them. I'm gonna weld these really quick um, in strategic places along here so I can just pull this dent out. And I wanted to have a flat surface right up against this embossment of M8. This is gonna need filler anyways, but getting it close to that feature and trying to preserve that is gonna, what's really most important. Okay, I did my best to straighten it out. Um, it's still a little bit lumpy, but in the area that it's most important, at least for this embossment thing, it's, it's pretty flat, kind of top and bottom. And then in this direction, it's a little bit lumpy. You can see right where I pulled it in some places. So I can do this you know, infinitely until it's perfect. But in this case, I'm just gonna be putting some um, primer over this. I'm gonna prep this whole area for primer. Uh, epoxy primer and then I'll be uh, skim coating it with filler and I'll just be careful not to fill up the M8 and just kind of preserve all these features. If anyone wants to know what Prussian blue looks like, this is probably 
a good example of it. Protected from the sun. It's still, you know, 45 years old, but. I was having a little bit of camera difficulty when I was doing this repair. And now back to the real reason why you're here, sanding. I don't really want to take this off, but I have no choice. It has to get painted underneath it. This does not get painted. But I did notice there's a couple little um, detents here on the latch and on the latch panel that help you line it back up. So I took some careful pictures. Just got to take it off. Also, I'm using a shim underneath here, so I need to make sure that the shim gets labeled for this side. Back to sanding. I'm not very good at this. It's kind of sloppy. Hopefully it can hold enough pressure when the air hits it from the spray gun, but I'm trying not to get paint on the inside of the car. I'm just gonna shoot the door jam, and then I wanna protect this external part too, because this is basically you know, ready to be painted. So I'm gonna be spraying black here so I can tell you know, what's new and what's old, but I'm gonna be masking off this area too the best I can, but try to create like a soft edge on the corner so I don't have a lot of buildup of primer. Two coats, <clears throat> two coats of black epoxy primer. Um, this side looks pretty good. Down here on the bottom, there's a little rubber um, door sill that covers up this. So this doesn't have to be really smooth. And here's the area that I did the body work on. And you can tell how lumpy it is. Those four holes are where the, uh, the number plate rivet was. And then the M8 is there. Um, it looks better than it did, but it's just real lumpy. So I'm going to have to uh, put some filler on this and just kind of smooth out this area before it gets final paint. But as always, you know, when things are one color, it just looks a lot better.
All right, just finished spraying the top coat on the uh, undercarriage here, and it turned out really nice. As you guys know, it's a budget build, and that is Rust-Oleum that I shot under, underneath there. I did put some hardener in it, and um, it seems to be a good recipe. It's still too early to put filler on that hinge area right near the, the M8 logo. Um, I need to wait at least, I think it's 24 to 48 hours before you can put filler on top of the epoxy primer. So that has to wait. I'm done with the underneath but I do want to start um, putting the suspension on so I can turn this car around and start working in the trunk area. So I'm going to try to, even though it's not dry, I'm going to try to, you know, get the uh, banana arms back in. I've done it so many times, it should just slide right in. It's going to take me a little while to clean up this garage space, get everything up off the floor so I can rotate the car around. I want to start working on the front. So while I do that, I did something else for you guys. I want you to look in the description below. I created an outline or kind of a table of contents of all the videos to date. And it includes everything that was done to the car on that particular video, the video number, and also the video link. So if you could go back and kind of look through um, parts that might interest you, whether it's the weld repair, rust repair, maybe it's the suspension modifications, maybe it's the bodywork, uh, roll cage, any of those kind of things, uh, you can kind of see what episodes those are in, how to find them, and um, you can go ahead and click on those and watch them anytime while you're enjoying your holidays. So take a look at that. I'm also <clears throat> gonna put this um, same information on my website, augaragetime.com. That location's a little bit easier to read, but it's a little bit easier to format the text, and it also is searchable on my website. So you can uh, you know, search for something and then find out which video that's in. Look at it that way, all right? So thank you again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.